Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, fired up the 79 Ironhead Sportster for the first time a couple days ago. It sat about 7 to 10 years and um, got the engine warmed up. I drained the oil out the oil reservoir over here. Uh, filled it back up with oil and uh, fired it up and I wasn't getting any flow back to my tank. So I shut the engine off, you know, started worrying, kind of all right, what's going on? Hopefully the oil pump's good. In the first video, when I started up, I was getting flow back to it. But I kind of started to think that might have just been all the oil built up in the crankcase. And it didn't puke out the vent hose. I thought that might have just been pushing all the oil back to the tank there. So then I started questioning, well, is the oil pump working or not? Um, I was getting oil leaking from the oil lines it did have the metal ones factory ones on it so they were leaking I never have real good luck with you know the rubber seals you have to kind of keep replacing them every few years or so so I go with these stainless braided ones so I threw those on there um, before I connected them at the top of the rocker boxes I left the lines off held them over here over a can fired fired the bike up and um, they were flowing real good, so was getting oil to the top. Um, I went ahead and pulled the on the front of your oil pump here. This is where your oil pressure switch goes. This one's been deleted and everything, so they've just put um, just a little plug in there to cap it off. So I started to think, well, I drained all the oil out of the tank, where I got some air in the line, so I left that off. For a little while um, purge the air out and uh, start getting uh, oil back to the tank again so I'm get hope, hoping that's all it was but then I start getting all the nasty oil puking back in here and anything that's sat this long it's never a bad idea to go ahead and try to get as much of that old nasty oil out as you can so what I've just rigged up is uh, pulled the return line off coming off the pump to the tank Instead of circulating back into the tank, I got it off. Going to have it puke out any of the other old nasty oil into the milk jug. And then I'm just going to keep watching the reservoir here and then topping it off with oil. And uh, hopefully get some more of that uh, nasty oil out. That was another reason I pulled the hose to make sure it was circulating back to the tank. Um, so I'm going to throw you on the tripod, fire it up, see if I can get some more of that old oil out of there watch the reservoir and uh, try to get some more of the funk out
again and try to get a little bit more out. It's not going to probably be spitting out perfectly clear, but as you can see, you know, got some pretty nasty oil here. And then all, all the oil in my tank is still clear. And uh, try to keep it that way. So just wanting to flush out some of this nastiness in here. Um, make sure the oil pump is flowing good. As you can see when I was giving it a little bit more throttle, raising the RPMs, the flow was raising a little bit. You're not going to get a whole bunch of pressure out of one of these. Like um, some people will throw a gauge on it. You don't really build much pressure. I mean, it might probably be like 6 PSI or something like that, and that's normal for this. So, um, just thought that was a good tip. If anybody's got a bike, you know, that's sat for a long time and you want to get as much of that old gunk out of the engine as you can, or just maybe not bad to do to your regular bike, um, you know, every once in a while. So, a little bit more on the 79, making progress. Um, been working on the iron head shovel head a little bit put a got the carburetor bolted on and um, about to do some wiring and uh, get this thing fired up here before too long so there you go thanks for watching guys if you like the videos uh, subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you don't mind thanks for watching